Salute up, family. Family. <laughs> family. Armeism number 21. Know your power and take what you deserve. Know your power and take what you deserve. It's clinche to say, work hard, don't quit. I would really say find yourself and find what's your why. What's the motivating force behind you and build around that. Nipsey Hustle. Oftentimes when I say Nipsey's community, it could be understood to mean Los Angeles or the Crenshaw District. But in fact, Nipsey represented all of us. He was a mouthpiece and community activist for the hoods in America, in Eritrea, and anywhere that the system was designed against a marginalized group. Nipsey represented them and inspired them all. One of the biggest things that these groups have in common is that they have the power, but only if they knew it. In the song Dedication, Nipsey says, I want real nigga reparations. And what he's asking for is access. Many of the billion dollar industries that black and brown people have helped build do not give those same people a seat at the table. Whether it's technology, film, television, finances, or cryptocurrency, as an example, black and brown people are underrepresented to an alarming degree. This inequality could and would, would stop if black and brown people knew their worth and used it as leverage. The reason why the Montgomery bus boycott was so effective was because black people decided to exercise their power, which directed, excuse that, which directly affected the bus company's bottom line. There are many instances where the middleman who gets the lion's share of the profits does the smallest amount of work. Knowing your worth and taking what you deserve is about understanding this dynamic and finding ways to collectively not settle for less. The African proverb says, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go far, you go together. Knowing your power means that you understand cooperative economics and know that the power of the people will always be greater than the people in power. And with that being stated, family, keep your heads up, stay focused, and read. Peace.